So today we're going to be doing a Lightroom tutorial all about the crop tool. Let's go. So before we get started, um, please feel free to subscribe to my Instagram. Um, it's at Adam Warren Gold, and I post daily, sometimes twice uh, per day. And uh, basically, it's just lots of different images, um, some flowers, some nature, some travel. And it'd be really great if you could uh, follow and support me with that. Thank you. So, into Lightroom. First thing we're going to do, we don't need to import anything. Is first of all, in terms of what the crop tool actually is. So what this does is it removes unwanted areas from an image, such as distracting objects or if there's too much space, uh, the crop tool will basically allow you to just show parts of the image that you want the viewer to see. So from the library module, you don't even need to be in the develop module to access the crop tool. So from the library module, I'm just going to hit R on the keyboard. And you can already see that this is the crop tool up here. It's been selected. If you deselect it, it will just disappear. So it's called the crop overlay tool. Click it again, we'll press R. And the first thing you'll see is obviously this is the full image that uh, we'll be using. And what you can do is, if there's any sort of unwanted areas of the image, all you do is just move the cursor to the end, to the corner, and you hold it down, and you can just drag and put it wherever you want to. Um, press enter, or done, and it will resize it. The good thing about the crop tool is that once you've cropped an image, you can then change it later if you want to. Um, once again, I'm going to press R, and you'll see the highlighted area, the part that's brighter, is where the crop I resized and is now set at. And this part that's a lot darker in the shadow now uh, is the original image. So if you wanted to bring it back, again, you just go to the corner of where the crop was and just drag it all the way back, and then just hit enter again, all done. And um, and that's it. Once you click R, there's a number of different overlays that you can actually use. And depending on the overlay that you like, or depending on the image, uh, will certainly help you in terms of um, you know where the focus point is. Now, to cycle through the various overlays, all you do is press O on the keyboard and keep pressing until you get the overlay that you want. So this is the typical one that I use. It is a, a three by three square grid and it's very useful for things like the rule of thirds. Um, but depending on the image, it will depend on what overlay I use. Uh, this is another useful one in which exactly down the center it's divided and um, across as well. Um, and again, you can just use the various ones to, um, to really help. Uh, this one is very useful. This is standard print size. So if you chose a, an image that you were gonna then print later on, uh, you can select a four by five, a five by seven, a two by three, and that's it. And the next thing, you can also choose from a number of preset uh, options, or you can custom to choose your own. Typically for Instagram, um, it will be 4x5 because that's how it's set on Instagram. Um, sometimes it will set it um, on a vertical basis rather than um, a horizontal. So depending on how you want it, if you press X, it will just allow you to choose between whichever one is uh, most appropriate for the image that you want. A landscape may be more like this. Um, and if you press X again, it will just choose a, a portrait version of a 4x5 crop. So again, we've got that. Um, you can also use the crop tool in terms of straightening an image. So a part of this will allow you to straighten. So there's a few different ways. Say if it's like off-center, for instance, like that. 
Um, what you do is you move the cursor outside of uh, the crop display. You just hold it down and then you can just basically drag it depending on where you want it. Um, it's very useful to use the lines to align, say like with this building for instance. Um, you know, like so. Like that. And you can just enter it on there. Uh, the other way to do it is if you use this, um, well, basically it's like a spirit level. Um, that builders use to make sure like a frame or something is uh, level. Again, you just basically choose where you want it to be straight and just draw the line across, like so, and it, then just press enter and it will re-straighten um, it for you. That's probably not quite right. Um, the other thing as well is, depending on whether you want to keep the crop aligned or not, uh, if you click on the padlock, that will lock the uh, crop itself. So say like this is the square here. When you hold it to resize the crop, it will always stay in proportion. So if you just need a small part of the image, uh, but you still want to, that to remain, say in this case a 4 by 5 crop, then all you do is just lock the crop in place. Here's the difference, so if you unlock the padlock and then you start to resize, it automatically will just change to anything that you want it to do. So if you're sure on the 4x5 or whichever crop you go for, just make sure that's locked and um, that will allow you to do it. So the other advantage, well there's many advantages of the crop tool, um, I'll show you a different image here but one of the main uh, areas that's very useful is that you can sometimes look for an image within an image, particularly if you've got like a large megapixel camera and it captures a lot of uh, footage that maybe you don't necessarily need or if you've taken a wide angle or something like that. Um, so again you can hit that um, and you can actually draw inside it. So um, you just hit the aspect tool there, um, you just hold it down, drag where you want it to be, press enter, and then you've got an image. So I mean that's pretty much everything as far as the crop tool goes. Uh, you can use it in so many different ways, as I say, to straighten, to um, help you with printing, to display uh, a particular part of the image that you particularly want the viewer's eye to catch. Sometimes, you know, if you take a very wide angle um, shot with like an 18 millimeter um, uh, angle and you don't need all of the footage, the crop tool is great for just capturing exactly what you need and getting rid of any negative space or, or unnecessary uh, parts of the image. So that was my tutorial all about cropping. I hope you liked it and I hope you found it useful. Um, if you like this video, please let me know uh, in the comments. Uh, let me know uh, if there's any other videos or tutorials that you'd find useful. I'll um, certainly look into filming them as well. And uh, I hope you'll also consider subscribing. It really helps on my channel and um, it basically gives you updates uh, when my next video comes out. So thanks very much for watching. See you soon.